Hi, it's Miriam. Have you ever had plantar fasciitis? Are you currently experiencing uh, any kind of discomfort and pain in your heels, either one of them or both of them? Well, I have had plantar fasciitis and I'm going to tell you today how I healed it. Um, my plantar fasciitis story began about three years ago. I noticed that when I would wake up in the morning and landed my right foot on the floor, my heel would hurt. And the same pain and discomfort continued when I walked and when I ran, when I was training. Uh, I went to see my long time uh, podiatrist and he confirmed that indeed I have plantar fasciitis, inflammation of the fascia. And so he recommended that I wear uh, a foot brace and that didn't work on my right foot. And then he recommended, well, try sleeping with a night splint. And this didn't work. It's a very annoying and very uncomfortable and doesn't let you sleep. And then he said, well, why don't you try an air boot? And this didn't work. Uh, and when that didn't work, uh, he said, well, how about you need to walk around with a set of crutches? So I got a set of crutches. I've never worn crutches in my entire life. And that didn't work. He also recommended a bozo ball that I should, you know, stand on and balance myself and help stretch the, uh, the plantar fascia. And this didn't work either. Um, I was so desperate, I went on YouTube to watch some videos. And um, I found that they gave contradictory advice and tips and treatment. Uh, and so uh, I didn't know what to do. Uh, but one tip that really helped me and gave me temporary relief was rolling my arch and uh, my uh, heel on um, a frozen water bottle. And this gave me temporary relief while I was um, watching TV or at my desk. And another thing that helped was uh, rolling my foot, the arch of my foot, uh, with a golf ball. And that gave me some temporary relief. Um, but actually, none of this worked. All these costly contraptions didn't work until one day a friend of mine suggested that I go see a doctor, a chiropractic doctor and a physical therapist, uh, another physical therapist in the same uh, facility uh, that work with athletes um, because this chiropractor had done enormous work on my friend's shoulder and now he was mobile again. So I went to see the chiropractic doctor and it was the best one of the best decisions I have made I learned so much about plantar fasciitis I learned that plantar fasciitis has really not a lot to do with the foot but with the hip so I learned how to strengthen my hip I also learned that my gait was completely off I had improper gait when I walked and when I ran uh, I learned that and I was walking outward with my feet outward instead of inward like almost pigeon toe and I had no idea so I learned how to be conscious when I run to run inward instead of outward because running outward really stresses uh, the muscles uh, in your hip and also in your arch and then this can cause plantar fasciitis um, so I learned a lot about my gait. Uh, I also got really good uh, exercises uh, to do at home uh, for my physical therapist to strengthen my core, to strengthen my hip, uh, and to strengthen my feet. And another wonderful tip that to this day I use is I walk barefoot. I walk barefoot at home all the time. Even I was kind of uh, weary because we have uh, hardwood floors and I thought that would be tough. Absolutely not. Uh, so I've been walking barefoot in my home for about three years now and I was told that by the doctor that walking barefoot will strengthen your ankles and your feet and all around plantar fascia. Uh, so this is what worked for me. Um, every individual is going to have a different experience. Uh, maybe these costly contraptions worked for you, but for me, they didn't. And I can tell you that I did, while I was getting um, 
physical therapy and seeing the chiropractic doctor who was manipulating my feet and teaching me about a gait, um, I ran in a 24-hour ultra. Uh, the first 40 miles uh, were tough, uh, but I still managed. And then after 40 miles, I really had to put on my ankle brace, my foot brace, to help me just walk. But I managed to uh, complete 100K in less than, a little over 23 hours. Uh, and I managed to place top 10 in the women's division. Um, and also throughout that ultra, I would immerse my feet in uh, ice water uh, to give my feet uh, some relief and to reinvigorate them. And while I was also uh, getting physical therapy and seeing the doctor, I was training for three more ultras that I had already registered for. And let me tell you, all these wonderful tips that I got really helped me with my next three ultras. I had a personal best in a 50 mile road ultra. I placed third in uh, my age group in a pretty grueling uh, 50 mile uh, trail ultra. And I placed third in uh, my age group in a 20, another 24 hour uh, ultra and fifth overall in the women's division. Three ultras within a span of six months after enduring painful plantar fasciitis where none of these contraptions worked but instead getting good advice from an expert really helped me to keep my feet and my heels strong. So there you have it. Please share uh, your comments or how you treated your plantar fasciitis and what worked and didn't work for you in the comments section. And also, you can read about my story by going to my website blog, and there is a post there, uh, you know, be fanatic about your gait and hear your plantar fasciitis, and there you learn more about my doctor and his tips and his advice for a strong plantar fascia. Have a great run and take care of your feet and run with proper gait. Thank you for watching.